this is something that I had a guy, an older guy that was running the excavator, and he was telling me how you could find like a water line or a phone cable or something. So he pulls these out of his cab. This is just marking flags, you know, that they poke in the mark where stuff is. So that's what these two wires are from. So he took a snipper out and he snipped that off of those. And then he bent them and he put two of them. And then he held them in his hand like this. He hold them kind of loose and he slowly walked forward and they showed him where the line was. Now, in my yard here, I know where generally where the water lines are kind of buried and where the phone cable is and where the boiler line comes down so it works and it's kind of strange and you'd have to talk to your science teacher exactly what's going on something with the magnetic field or something i don't know i always thought it had to be flowing water but apparently uh phone cable and some other stuff and they can get real close to it and those water lines are buried here they're probably seven to eight feet you know so that's a long ways down there and for something this simple to detect it it comes very close so there's a line that comes somewhere near the front of my barn there down to the yard here and i believe it right here there's a t somewhere that goes that way to my back shed and then goes up to there so we know there's a water line between here and the front of my barn and I think I've seen pictures from the previous owners when it was all dug up. So I got a pretty good idea where it might be buried. I've tried this before and people say, ah, oh, you're just moving your fingers and making a move. Well, you got to be truthful to yourself. So I'm going to hold them out and then I'm going to start walking. Okay. And we're going to see if this works. Now, like I say, I don't know exactly where this line is, if it's someplace in this 10, 12 foot area here. See, now look at how they're already starting to go. That one, yeah, yeah, look at the other one, starting to go. Look at that. There we are. When I look at this, See, it's a pretty much a straight shot from the front of my milk house to my shop. So anyway, now we'll try it in another spot. My boiler line, them are plastic, but the water is flowing through them. So I know where those are. There's a little divot in our driveway where they cross over. You can see this little, little bump here. And the only reason is, is because where the boiler line is, the frost didn't go in as deep as over further. So it's just, it seems to level out in the summer, but I know where it is. So we're going to try it there. The same thing. I kind of like this little trick. So it's, this is no means a uh, replacement for Digger's hotline anyway, but it does uh, kind of gives you a little bit more of uh, something to go off of in case you, you're wondering. Now these lines I think are only like maybe three feet deep or so. Oh, look at that, that one went and we're maybe about a foot ahead of it. And the other one, look at that, right there. Now if you look, I'm standing exactly over it. I know it works because I know there's a line there. So let's try where I know there's a cable, uh, phone cable. I'm gonna see if it works. Now my guy, we were doing some waterway work down here and he, was, he wasn't digging where the line was, but I kind of mentioned it and then he thought, well, we'll be sure. So he tried it and we found it. So there's our, I don't know what they call it, a peg or the box where this junction is. And then it comes on, the cribs are already here. So I'm assuming they must be probably, I'm gonna guess, I'm right here. they drove with their machine and then they went up to my shop. So we're gonna see if it's gonna pack. already going and I'm not even moving yet. Now we're past my mark, but not by only about a couple feet. Again, they went and they're pointing exactly straight towards where they started. And then there was no cement in my waterway here. So I think they crossed over the waterway here and they went under the chicken coop where that wasn't before. But anyway, this is kind of cool. Oh, so that was a neat little video for you guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to check out our other videos.